Hi, my name is Kelly and I'm one of the educators with Bywater Solutions and I have this short tutorial on how to use the Patron Card Creator. There have been um, quite a few new um, features added since our last video, so we thought we would do a little update on the Patron Card Creator. So this would be used in our Tools section for any of the libraries that would like to use and create patron cards um, for their for their patrons um, with their Koha system. So within the tools module, we have over under patrons in circulation, we have the option for a patron card creator. Now for any libraries out there that have used the Koha label creator, the setup is very, very similar. And I appreciate the fact that the terminology is similar as well. So across both of the um, label and the patron card creator, the same terminology is used to help you um, figure out this process. There are a few steps. Um, you have to have your handy dandy ruler to measure out the size of your cards that you wanted to print on. So whether that is a business size, business card size, or um, some other variation, that's where you would start. And so that would actually be under um, templates. So you can see here, I have just like on labels, I have a card template, I have the layout. So after the template, after you tell Koha how big the size of the card you want to, to print on, your next step is the layout. What do you wanna put on this card? Then there's a batch. So we're gonna create a batch finally. So in a template, um, if you are creating this from scratch, then you would go to that new drop down and create a template. What I'm going to go ahead and go to my template that I've already created and show you. So I'm going to pop over to manage template. So once you've created a template and a layout um, and a batch, they would be under those that manage tab. So you can see I have a template already created. I'm going to go ahead and hit edit so you can see how I um, constructed that. So I have a code, so I love the fact that I have the ability to pick which one I'm going to use when I get to that printing stage. So this is really helpful to know which template I want to use. I put a little description on there and I measured my um, business cards in inches. So you can choose to do it by centimeters, millimeters, page height and width. So sometimes the business cards come out on one sheet of paper and you just pop them out after they're printed. So that's what mine is. Then I have my card height and my width. If there is a margin on the paper before the actual card begins, that's what Koha means by top page margin. And then if there is a margin on the side, again, before that card is created on the page, how many are cards are on this page, so columns and rows. And then you're gonna get really small measurements probably if there's any gaps between the cards, um, whether that's in the columns or in the rows. Some printers um, have, seem to have a skew um, when you're printing things like labels or cards. So you can set up a printer profile and adjust that skew. So that's what that um, profile is. Okay, so once you've finished your template, I'm gonna say we're gonna go to our layouts next. So you could create um, multiple layouts just like you can create multiple templates. I've created two layouts um, for this demonstration. I created a layout of, of the school cards, and then I created a layout to include um, the patron images as well. So let's pop over to my primary school cards, and I will show you what needs to be done to set this up. So again, layout name. Um, I found the postscript points was a good way to use the measurements um, on this actual template, um, I'm sorry, layout. However, you have the ability to change um, how you're going to measure those. Um, you have the option to print both the front side and the back side of cards. So you have this to say whether this was the front side or the back side. Just like in um, labels, you can create, you can have Koha draw that guide box so you actually know what Koha's 
um, visualizing from what you put in your template. And then you could also have a grid um, shown in that kind of preview. You have the ability to have three text fields. So you can see text fields here, you have field one, field two, and field three. I've gone ahead and set up two of the fields. So just like on your notices and various other places in Koha, you're actually going to use these alligators to, and the, um, the language from your schema to tell Koha what to put into these fields. So what I did was I said, this is their name, and then grab the first name and the last name from that patron that I'm going to attach to this. Then I have font, font size, how I want it to align, and then I'm going to say my lower left X coordinate and my lower left Y coordinate took a little bit of finagling where it's going to lay on the page. And then my second field, I actually did the grade and that was found in my sort one fields. Again, you could fill, you could use these fields for any Thing found in the borrower table um, that's on your patrons. So you have, um, you could do phone number, email, you could have a patron attribute. No, you cannot use that patron attribute. I apologize. You can use sort fields, you can do phone numbers, um, any information, um, card numbers, or usernames, anything you wanted to put on those fields. I do know there is a bug currently for patron attributes. On this patron and the patrons in my database they are assigned a grade and that's stored in that sort one field again font font size how it's aligned and then those coordinates like I said you could do an additional third field if you wanted on the right hand side I actually have some the ability to add the barcode for the patron that I'm creating the card and I find the barcode really easy because that's what I want to be able to scan when I'm checking out to this patron. So you can see I put um, print that card number as a barcode so my barcode scanner can print that. I put in some coordinates and then told Koha which barcode type I wanted to use. And then finally, if I wanted to put a card number underneath the barcode, so if in addition to the barcode scanning field, did I want that number? And so I said yes. Now, I did not, this is not my patron um, school photo ID. This is just a school ID that I may keep in my um, library or maybe use for another purposes, this is not the school ID, but I thought it would be great to be able to put, um, say, your school logo. So for this example, I use the Koha logo. So in this image two, I chose other image and I actually downloaded the image and we should probably go over there and I'll show you where I did that. I could pick the image where I downloaded so I have the ability to add multiple images. The display height and again, my coordinates. So let's go over to my images. You would go to new and then image, but I'm gonna go over here to images. And here is where I, um, you can see the one I already created. So that's under the deleted, which I don't wanna delete. Or if I wanted to add any new um, images, I could do that here. Okay, so let's give this a run through. Once I have created a template and a layout, it is now time to test what you have created. So for the first time, you would go ahead and create a card batch. You can either add your patrons by borrower number to this batch, or you can search your database for your um, patrons here. Okay. I've already created a batch, so I'm gonna go over to my manage card batches, which I absolutely love that they keep in there. You always can delete a batch, but if you don't, they'll stay in your um, current batches. I also really appreciate the fact that I could um, create a set of cards using a list that I have already created, a patron list. 
Okay, so I do have one patron in this batch and I'm gonna go ahead and export that and give it a run through. Just like in the label creator, you're gonna choose your layout, you're gonna template, you're gonna choose your layout, you're gonna choose if it's a backside or the front side. So I only have one template set up, but I do have two layouts. So we're gonna start with this primary school card and um, I don't have a layout set up for the backside, so I'm gonna leave that there. Where I wanna start my cards on the page, I'm gonna put that one position and I'm gonna go ahead and hit export. I have the ability to open this up in a PDF, so I'm just gonna click PDF and you can see it popped up down here depending on how your browser works. So for this card creator, I have my little Koha image. I have the patron's name and then her grade. And then I have that barcode scan or that I can scan and then that card number. So this looks pretty great. Um, I did have that the grid box was showing, so before I print this um, as a final run through, I would want to take that probably red box off, which is found in the layout. Okay, so now let's go ahead and look at that second layout I created. So I'm going to go to Manage and Layout. Let's go ahead and look at that photo school card. Now this is because I do have patron images on in my database, but if you don't, this is not something you necessarily need. It's just a good way to show how the patron card creator can be used. So my layout is exactly the same here on the left. I did not alter any information over here. However, on the right-hand side, I took away that Koho, Ko, Koho, Koha image, and I said, let's grab a patron image. And then I changed that height, my lower X and Y coordinates. Okay, so let's give this one a run through. Like I was saying just a minute ago, here's that guide box. So before you print it, you would wanna turn that off. Um, this is just a good way to kind of see what Koha's ima imagining um, all the details you've put in. So again, I'm going to go back to my card batch under manage. I'm going to go ahead and hit export. And this time I'm going to create, I'm going to choose that layout photo school cards. I'm going to keep that template the same. Again, I don't have another layout, another template. I'm going to export that and then I'm going to, let's see what it looks like. Click this PDF, it downloads it to my desktop and there Hermione is. So I've got her little image from her patron file, have her name, her grade, and again I still have her barcode. So this is a great way to use the patron card creator. Um, I'm going to put steps in with this blog post and if you want to copy what I've done, just go ahead and pause during the video and you can capture all my layout details. Thank you so much for watching. This tutorial is a production of Bywater Solutions. Thanks for